everybody welcome back to the smokemidwest.com youtube channel today we are going to be making some beef short ribs on the pit barrel cooker before we get going today just take a minute hit that subscribe button and that like button helps me out a ton supports this channel thank you so today like i said we're doing some beef short ribs got these in my local grocery store so let's season them up and these things are meaty they look good got the bone on the bottom nice fat cap on top we're not going to trim these we're just going to take them straight out of the package season them up and get them on the smoker So what we're going to do is use a little Worcestershire sauce for a binder. Just do a real light coating on all of these. You can use whatever you want for binder, beef broth, oil, no binder. Whatever you like works. And I think this adds a little bit of flavor too. A little bit of good flavor. So what we're seasoning this, these with today is the Smoke Midwest All Purpose Rub. You can find this at smokemidwest.com. What we're gonna do is just give it a nice, generous coat on each side. We're not gonna do the bone side, but uh, all the meat side, we're just going to give them a nice coating. This rub is great on beef. Last guy here. All right, let's fire up the smoker. So the way we're gonna set up our pit barrel cooker today is we're gonna put the wood at the bottom of the charcoal basket. I have two hunks of apple wood and two chunks of pecan wood. Pecan wood's my absolute favorite. And honestly, it just has some apple wood I wanna use up. So you'll see how it blends in with these uh, short ribs. In the combo. So we're using just Kingsford blue charcoal. We're gonna fill it up pretty good. We have the little pit barrel cooker starter here, chimney starter. Got that pretty full. And we got our lighter cubes. And we're gonna let that go until the uh, all the charcoal started and they're white hot on top. We'll see you then. All right, so our charcoal is going and let's get this smoker set up. So we're gonna get this out of the way. Put our charcoal basket in the bottom. And I already have the bottom vent set up for my elevation. And then we'll just dump in our lit coals. So at this point, the barrel is ready to go. Put her great back in, because we're not going to be hanging these today. I don't think they'll hang very well, so we're doing a great. Put our beef ribs in there, bone side down. I'm going to put the rebar in, and we're just going to let it go and probably check it in, I don't know, an hour or two. We'll see you then. So our beef short ribs have been on for about two hours. Let's check them out. They're looking good. Got some nice pullback already. Let's check the temp on one and see where we're at. About 188 already. Still got a little ways to go. They're not quite as tender as I'd like them to be, but I am gonna spritz them down with some water, keep them moist. The barrel's been running about 300 degrees, and so we're just gonna keep on letting it go. See you soon. So our beef short ribs have been on about four hours. Let's check them out. They're looking really good. So let's take the uh, temp of a couple and see where we're at. 
It's about 200. It's feeling pretty tender. It's 202, 203. It's feeling pretty tender too. This one's in 195. It still feels a little tough. This one's like 204, 205, and it feels super tender. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one off, wait about another 10 minutes on those, check them again for tenderness, and then um, we'll see with that one. We're going to put it in a foil pan here, a clean one. We're just gonna cover it with foil and let it rest. So like I said, we're gonna let those two go another 10, 15 minutes, and then we're gonna check that one probably another half hour or so. We'll see you then. All right, so beef ribs have been on another 15 minutes. Let's check them out. So we're looking for tenderness. I want this probe to go in and out easily, which this one does. So you can see what the temp is there. 204. It's kind of what I would expect. That one there, 206. You can see there's like very little resistance in that. Let's check this guy here. So this one's still got a little bit of resistance. The temp's only 197. So we're gonna pull those two off, put them in our foil pan with tin foil over it and let that one keep going. We'll see you soon. So our beef short ribs are done. So a quick recap of what we did is we seasoned them up with the Smoke Midwest all-purpose rub. And we used Worcestershire sauce as a binder on there. Put them on the pit barrel cooker over pecan and apple smoke. They're on there about three to four hours and uh, we cooked them to an internal temp of 205 until they were very tender. And then we put them in this foil pan, wrapped it up tightly in foil, and they've been sitting in here for the past 45 minutes. And so let's check them out. They are looking delicious. So what we're gonna do is just slice one up and give it a taste test. We got some nice pullback on there. Got great bark on it. Like I said, we pulled these off about internal temp about 205 degrees and they were absolutely probe tender at that point. And they are cutting very, very easily. So you know they're gonna be tender. It's like super juicy inside. Let me get a shot of that. Looking good. Let's give it a shot. That's good. That's way good. Still super juicy. Still super tender. These were some fatty short ribs. So all the fat just rendered right out of them. Good pepper and salt and pepper flavor from the all-purpose rub on them. These are good. You have to give this recipe a try. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like what we're doing, hit that subscribe button. Like this button or like this video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see. And we'll see you soon. Thanks.